Adeka, do you not have respect for Chugo? The most adorable queen in waiting of Amabo. My heart is full of pains. Forgive my inability to pass out greetings. Do not kill yourself over the one the gods will soon kill. Do not say that of the one I love. There is no mercy for anyone that committed alu abomination. Then leave that to the gods. Do you realize you are before the queen in waiting of Amabo? Queen in Why are you raise your voice? The queen in waiting. Permit me to fight the battle ahead of me. Have a nice day. Is making round the whole village. It seems something strange happened. Adorable one. Adorable Chugo, don't you think we should go to the palace, answer the prince, the next king, and your future husband? No, not that one. Whatever it is, it will spread. News in Amabo spreads like wildfire. Oh, prince Olisa, my prince. <laughs> He prefers me around when he wishes. I don't want anything that will soil my chances of becoming his bride. His one and only bride. <laughs> and the next queen of this land. Hmm? So, let's head home. What about the ornaments you intend to buy from Kuruntar the merchant? Oh, I forgot. All right, let's head there then. <laughs> I should have educated you having you grown up with my mother in the bank and my community. So, Mama, I will die. Your case is different from the last man that fished from the sacred river on the sacred day. I heard a lot of people got healed when you dragged the fish out and it caused a spark around the river. Your fate is now for the gods to decide. Why giving birth to you? I saw sparks 
of lightning and you dropped out of my stomach. What awaits you now is what I cannot tell, but only the gods can. But should they be pronounced, I will die in your place if the gods will grant. No, no, Mama. Hey, I have killed my mother. I have destroyed the beautiful life we had. Mama, I just saw the beautiful fish and, and I made for it without... <laughs> I take the blames. I will pay in your place, my daughter. Unless the gods reject that I pay in your place, I will. Mama, no. <laughs> What is this noise I'm hearing in the village? I couldn't concentrate on my farm work, so I had to leave. What happened? In the hill, so. We were at the river, fetching and washing, when Uruka, the daughter of Obioma, stepped into the deep side and caught the sacred fish. I do not know if her mother did not tell her two days. It's no fishing day. Hey! Today is the forbidden day. Nobody in Amabo fishes. So... Hey! hey! It is believed that the sacred fishes do come out to feed on the on the uh, sacrifice poured into the river by Zidibia. Hey! How come her mother Obioma did not educate her on this? She has committed such an abomination that the, the, the consequence when pronounced, surely, ear that hear it will bleed. Mazi, another strange thing happened though. <laughs> People with various sicknesses were attesting to their healing. <laughs> yes, my mother was healed instantly of her back pain. Why your wife was hid instantly of a partial blindness? Eh? I, I, I am I, I am becoming more confused. How can an act of abomination turn to blessings? Nay, that is a question on everybody's lips. <laughs> well, proceed home. I'll go straight to the home of uh, Ikechi, my cardinal fellow uh, elder. Let's go. <laughs> Your betrothed caught a sacred fish on this day that Amabo does not fish. Hey! Hello, man. A lot of conflict stories are going on. Some say she'll be stoned to death. Others said that they will sacrifice her to Amadioa. And with all this saying. Cut the story. Just cut it. She is only but a small girl. She was raised by her grandmother in Abagini. I am sure she does not know. And she must not be made to pay with her life uh, for the act of ignorance. So where are they now? They were on their way to pick her. 
when message came from Enze Dibia that nobody should touch her. But something else led to that. And what is that? All the hard ailments and were at the river when it happened got healed. It was on that premise that the Enze Dibia instructed that she should be left alone till her fate is determined by the gods. How come the so-called abomination turns to a blessing? Hey! Ijo Monyeka Mad! That is the question in the mouth of the entire village. Hi! I'm coming. Where, where, where are you going? Odika! I am coming. Hey! Hello, man. Hello. Hey! Also, hmm? this baffles me. An act of abomination suddenly turns into a blessing. <laughs> Mystery that defies human comprehension is better left for the gods. Well, tomorrow, Eze Dibia speaks until we hear what he has to say. All we do now is to wait. Oh, yes. Patiently. We shall wait. The last time this happened, according to a tale told by my father, Katoka, a mentally deranged middle-aged man, caught the sacred fish on a forbidden day. Despite all pleas, an instant judgment was passed. Eh? He was sacrificed to Aden and his body fed to the vultures in the shrine. But in this case, in the case of Iruka, it is a mixture of good and bad. Hmm. Deep mystery. You say so? I am a beneficiary. My wife can clearly hear well now. Eh? And that makes it more of mystery. Deep mystery. Anyway, tomorrow is just a night away. Let's hear the pronouncement of Ezedibia. Only then we shall know our fate. That is true. Iruka, my love, nothing will ever happen to you. Anything that will hit you or hurt you will hit me first. Please, dry your tears, my love. If I lose you or my mother, who then am I living for? I have waited all my life till I be of age so I can become your wife and make my mother proud. And now this happened. I don't know what awaits me. But the pain of losing you or my mother will kill me. And so... I'd rather die for what I brought upon myself. My love, say no such thing ever again. Cease the ill talk and stay positive. Whatever the gods decide, we shall know by tomorrow. But as it is now, please, stay positive. Please, my love, come. Please dry your tears. <laughs> Thank you. 
Greetings, Prince Olisa of Amabo, great offspring of Yikonha, Mwikeri I greet you gallantly, my prince. Rise, is in battle number, the great son of Umba Amonyuku. I was on my way to fetch the king in waiting for the meeting of the elders. Palace remains sacred and out of bound until I am crowned the king. According to Ezidibia's decree, it shall remain under the purification of the gods until the new moon that will usher in the festivity culminating to my becoming king. Let it be known to the whole village that there shall be no visit to the palace until the new moon is sighted. Your message is already known, my prince, and will soon be disseminated. Very well then, let us proceed to the meeting. I learned that the elders are waiting. Okay, my friends. Announcement. I was forbidden from the meeting. It was just the elders. Prince Olise and Ezedibia held the meeting. Other villagers waited. Then after the meeting, they all came out and went to their various homes without saying anything. Without saying anything? <laughs> what then becomes her fate? Our fate! Their faces were glooming. I ran after Ichie Ozo and Ikechi. None of them saw. I knew it. I just knew it. I knew I would die. Maybe. Maybe they will come at night and, and grab me. I'll probably send thunder. <laughs> Mama. Odeka, my love. I won't, I won't you be able to know that. I did it out of ignorance. Please forgive me. Please. Eruka, my love. Do not judge yourself. When the gods have not. Whatever it is, I will find out. I will take a goat straight to the shrine. If indeed the gods have spoken, Ezedibia will surely speak to me if I offer him the goat. It is a goat I want to use for our wedding, but I have to use it for another. I will go now. Please, Odeka. Be very careful, my son. Make further consultations before heading to the shrine. <laughs> when men walk out of a meeting all silent, even the spirit becomes uneasy from the land of the dead. Become one. Tread very cautiously. <laughs> because Anything for my betrothed, I will do it. Be very careful. Odika.
my prince. Something is definitely wrong, my adorable. Let's proceed to the palace at once. I must find out what is wrong. My adorable Chugo, have you forgotten what I told you people my father said? Oh yes, that there is a big Dibia decree that the palace will be sanctified till the next new moon is sighted, so as to avoid the stranger that killed the former king and the queen. How then will I find out what the problem is? Can't you see I'm losing my mind? Can't you see I'm losing my mind? I need to find out what is wrong with my prince. Why he can't, he can't even hug me or talk to me? How would I find out? I'm losing my mind. There's so, there's so much to talk to me. I'm losing my mind. How? My adorable Chugo, you don't have to lose your mind. There can be another way. Which way? Say it at once! Isimbe the warrior was with him earlier. Isimbe? Yes, Isimbe. Let's proceed to the house of Isimbe at once. Confusing. The most baffling thing is the silence. Could it be that the ghost did not speak? Or what was said was deliberately concealed? From history, once the ghost speak, the Ezidibia makes the pronouncement, no matter how innocent it is. Why then the torture and the silence of the suspense? Maybe another mystery. Just like the mystery of the miracle and the abomination. Keep on and keep on kind. Let's just wait and see what the silence will eventually turn to. I am heading to Anyamabo to see Edis Ezedibia. What does silence solve? Udika, you cannot be blinded by love. You want to commit another offense that will further attract the punishment on yourself? Whatsoever that led to the total silence must be indicated by the gods. We have to wait. We have to wait till the gods are ready to speak. Nobody can force the Ezedibia or the gods to speak. Please, listen to me. I am heading straight and grabbing the goat. Then proceed to the shrine.
Tell me. What did they say? Talk to me, please. My love. Please just tell me. Tell me whatever it is. What did he say, Dibia say? Also join the League of Silence. Please speak. Adika, are you here to help or to compound my problems? To me, Odika. What did I say? What? Nothing. Only those that attended the meeting are meant to speak after four market days. Only then. Would they say what the gods has decreed? For, for market days? Wait. You mean I should wait for four market days before I will know if I will die or how I will die? No. What's, what's the use of living? I better end this torture now because I know I will die. Oh, please, let me just oh, die. Please. But you can't leave me alone. Hold her. Hold her for me. You are all of those. Please. <laughs> 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 uh, you don't need to bother yourself. Hmm? The silence was as a result of the meeting. My father once told me of such day. Eh? But the, the, the result might not be as pleasant too. Hmm? Because something of such happened years back at Abangene. According to my father, the pronouncement was made after four market days because they were trying to be super sure that the decree was made by the gods. So you see? So you weren't at the meeting then? <laughs> no, I was not allowed into the meeting. The meeting was just attended by uh, uh, the prince, the elders and the Ezidibia. Hmm. I understand. But why would they have to wait for four days to pass judgment on the errant girl? Hey? She should have been made to face her fate. Why will I wait the main thing? Which is citing the moon that will help the coronation. Hey? This situation is taking off the shine of the event. My queen in waiting. Atalugo. <laughs> Don't bother yourself, eh? This situation will never outshine the big event. It is just a matter of days. Just a matter of days. And everything, the day will just elapse and the news will just fizzle away. That's just it. <sighs> it's alright. Hence, I can't see my prince. Let me go to my parents' halls. And wish he comes visiting. Even if he can't talk to me. I just want to feel him around me. Then nothing will ever stop him from being yours. It's just a matter of days and he will be yours. Atalugo. Hey. Ha!
Adika. 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 did not speak, but with the sign language he made, I understood that in four market days, the pronouncement will be made. Iruka will be going through a lot of torture now, not knowing her fate. She's totally devastated, but I will be with her till the end. Okay, uh, come and rest. Let, let me let me get your food. Eh? I need to sleep. You are not helping yourself, my brother. I need to sit and think. You are not helping yourself, my brother. I need eh? to sit and think. But you, you have to... Please, respect my decision. Please. <laughs> My love, come, 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 come. Greetings, this is Mbamon. Greetings, my love. Iti Joma. How are you? I'm fine. So, Ijoma, what are you saying to my proposal? See, what are you saying? You've been delaying this proposal, Ijoma. What is the problem? I thought we agreed not to talk about this eh? again. You and who? Ijoma, you and who? Look, all I want from you is yes. Just keep saying yes. Say yes. Keep saying yes. I don't have anything to say for now, please. Ijoma, so, so, so you hate me this much? I didn't say that. Ijoma, look here. Standing before you is Isimbe Wamba Amonyoku. I am the grandson of Umberede, offspring of Anankankampi. Ijoma, listen, I can make this village bearable and very, very unbearable for you, depending on the one I want. Ijoma, just go down. <laughs> Please, allow me to run errands for my mother. Then maybe you can talk about this. Ije, come, come, come. Hey! Ijoma, keep tossing with my heart. Keep tossing with my heart. But let me assure you, this is the one bam you could get whatever he wants, no matter how he wants it. Ibo Beroku, I'll get you. I know how I'll get you. respect for Chugo, the most adorable queen in waiting of Amabo. 
My heart is full of pains. Forgive my inability to pass out greetings. Do not kill yourself over the one the gods will soon kill. Do not say that of the one I love. There is no mercy for anyone that committed alu abomination. Then leave that to the gods. Do you realize you are before the queen in waiting of Amabo? Why do you raise your voice? The queen in waiting. Permit me to fight the battle ahead of me. Have a nice day. It's nothing but frustration. While I happily wait my accession to the throne, he is waiting for the death of his betrothed. What a pity. Let us head to the stream and enjoy the fresh breeze. that because of the wealthy nature of Uruka's crime, those that attended the meeting with Eze Dibia have not spoken since yesterday and will not speak till after three days. Who knows? If she will be hung naked and tied at the village square for, for the vultures to consume, or even be tied up and thrown into the river, or be burnt in some quarters as speculated. Such a beautiful damsel about to be consumed ah, because of her ignorance. Anyway, that's not even bothering me now. What is that? Is it not Isimbi and his advances? I thought you said you are long done with him when you said you are not interested. <laughs> that one. He refused accepting no for an answer. I am really confused. Eh? And you know my heart yearns for Obiora Waikenta. Okay, Ijoma, don't worry. When you come to the house later to play my we'll talk about it. Means she refused to come out from this hut or eat. She has been crying. And she has refused to eat. Okay, let me see her. the instruction that the prince passed. I knew nothing about the sign language, but it's like we should collect meat from Isimbe. I knew it is meat, but the problem there is to know whether it is roasted meat or cooked meat. But why didn't you ask? <laughs> Will fear ever let you do so? When we get there, we should collect both cooked and roasted meat. The most important thing is that we understood that he wants meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
Let the speed of fast because I'm sick and tired of all this. You don't massage my feet, eh? Run to Iked, the fisherman. Run to his house, eh? I heard he caught some very nice fishes at Abangini River. I want to make a delicious soup for my consumption. <laughs> mm. And I hope my prince sends someone to take some of it because I know he will love it. <laughs> Whatever you wish, my adorable. Okay. Uh, ah, easy, easy. for the past two days and that got me seriously worried. Mm. My brother is about to lose his head to the fate of Iruka. Mm. I have to be with him so that he won't do anything for me. I thought as much. Where is he now? He's inside the hut. Do you know that he does not eat or go out? Mm. He's always with her so that she will be alive to the judgment day. Mm. Um, Wanka, don't you think it's an effort in futility? We all know what awaits her. But however, death is death. It's certainly losing Iruka. Don't allow my brother to hear this. He will strangle you to death. He's the only one that believes that Iruka still have the chances of living. Wanka. Okay. I need to go. To grab the rest. Mm. Yes. Okay, uh, wait, uh, I want to give you something to give um um for me. Let's go. Okay. Let me give you. Alright, now mm. listen. Thank you for coming to see me. Oh. <laughs>
Mother, I was able to talk to her. She's deep asleep. The first thing she will ask of is food. Immediately she wakes up. Thanks. Thanks for putting hope in the face of hopelessness. All I see is hope. 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 Yes. And nothing but hope. Yes. At least before it will be all over in two days from now. I gave birth to four of them. Three died. She is the only surviving one. <laughs> and in order to give her a better upbringing, I took her to my mother. <laughs> Sound. But now, I'm about to pay the ultimate price due to ignorance. But I will never allow that to happen. I want you to lead me to the SDBM. I want to die in her place so she could live. Mother, I've made countless inquiries over that. But I do not see any possibility. What I tell you, <coughs> just hang on to hope. Just hang on to hope. I should hang on to hope. For how long? Oh, long I ask. Leave, leave, hang on to me. The cause of our land. Please stop crying, please. What is my offense? Please stop crying. Please. What have I done? Please, mother, stop crying. Stop crying. Here I go. Stop crying, mother, please. <laughs> on the fate of Iruka and we are all advised to stay indoor as they meet nobody comes out so the pronouncement is made Onye no yo Sins upon me. She's only but a girl. Leave my presence. Please. Ezedibia, no. I cost everything. Let me pay with my life, Ezedibia, please. Let me pay with my life. Both of you, leave my presence now. Go in and drag her out. Please. Or I will do it myself. <laughs> I shall make the pronouncement <laughs> as instructed by the gods. At the it? entrance of Amabo Kingdom. Please. Go! Please, please. Is it? Is it? Is it? Please. Please. 
chugo wani oma oma licha chugo wani oma oma richa adorebu kwino oma licha afiandeze ne kwonu oma licha onwero nye dikagio oma licha okwano vodani oma licha chugo wani oma Oh my little chugo wan yo ma Oh my little afiande zene kwanu Oh my little omo ma salu Oh my little I do have to go Has she been killed No She has not been killed The gods made a pronouncement that instead of killing her that she should be made the river woman and she has been gifted with very powerful healing powers healing what? healing powers and river woman there was jubilation all over the land because it was believed that the last river woman was a queen and many believed that she came back as Iruka. No! 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 I am restless with the decision of the gods. But this has nothing to do with you, my adorable. You will not understand. Oh, oh, the dream! I had a dream! The dream! No! No! I can't take it! I can't take it! No! I Choosing as the river woman, she has become only as powerful as the king. You would never understand. Understand what? We should throw a big celebration. My brother is about to marry a powerful person. Odika, we are going to be respected in Amabo. I am thinking of the story our late parents told us. What story? The fourth queen of Amabo was a river woman. 
the gods decreed that she should marry the then prince whose family were invaded and wiped out by the warriors of Abolima in order to fortify the land. But we're not at war with any land. Besides, Prince Olisa has a bride waiting for him. Chugo will be married to him the day he will be crowned the king. The only thing standing between them is the sighting of the moon. Just seconds after the pronouncement, rumors spread that the queen might be incarnation of the former river woman. She will spend 40 days at the river and the shrine for her incubation. Within that period, the mood would have been sighted and the, the prince will marry her to go. What's then to fear? Yes. Yes. I never thought of that. I was already afraid of losing her to history and speculations. There is nothing to be afraid of. She will come back more powerful, performing all kinds of healings. We're going to be more rich and respected. Prince, I am riddled with fear. What fear? History. History and my dream. Dream? What dream? History had it that the last river woman married the prince. And now, we are at the verge of getting married. And Iruka, Iruka was pronounced the river woman. And... Chiyuko. Chiyuko. Hmm. Chiyuko. Diffuse your fears. She is under 40 days incubation. And before she is out of it, we would have been on the throne as king and queen. Yes, I am particularly glad that my reign has ushered in good tidings with the advent of the river woman. Our community shall be greatly fortified. All sickness is cured. Farmers shall have bountiful harvests. I am glad that what appears to be a curse turns out to be blessed. My, my prince, why? Why for this silence? Hugo, some things are meant for men only. But know it that it was done to further affirm the declaration of the gods. Yes. The most important thing is she turns out to be the one. And in 40 days, we shall have a river woman. She will be the second person to assume the position of the river woman after the first one. But my prince, my prince, I'm still worried. I'm still worried about the dream. That dream, my prince, the dream. Oh, the dream. Call your mates and ask them to bring what you prepared for me. Use that to relegate your worries. Okay. Hmm. Please, bring what you prepared for the prince. 
Hurry up. Now. You're already late. See, Iruka is already at the shrine. From there, she'll be taken to the river before sunrise to perform sacrifices for 40 days. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go and see her mother. Then thereafter, we go see Uwanka to felicitate with Odika, her brother. You're right. Come, let's go. Come, 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 come. <laughs> My instinct tells me that we have not heard the last from the gods. I believe once we have our king and the queen on the throne, whatever follows is welcomed. <sighs> if only, if only you know what runs through my mind as I'm sitting down here. Ozo, mm -hmm. what could that be? Sanctify the land of Amabo. Bountiful harvest. Coming in the evening to see you. He got 
a very big antelope. He went to share it with Obiora. <laughs> Samu Enka. Yes. Tell him I greet him mightily. And may the gods shower their blessings on him. He say. <laughs> And he also instructed me to fetch water for you before I head home. Bam, 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 bam. I still have water. Never mind. Please. <laughs> because mm -mm. I must fetch that water. We don't want you to miss Iruka in any way. Okay, please. I'm going to fetch water for you. Hune, you can't stop me. Yeah, it's you. Hune, you can't stop me. Because I'm awesome. Hey, so the girls be praised. It's okay, there is a Oh, yeah, oh, 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 o